These 10 hugging face spaces will help you with project and startup ideas that you can build with AI. You can also supercharge your existing apps or websites by integrating these prototypes as tools into your products. For those of you who do not know what Hugging Face Spaces are, it's basically a platform that is designed for developers and enthusiasts in the AI community to create, share, host their machine learning applications easily. Now, each space is basically an interactive AI demo that is hosted on the Hugging Face platform. They showcase machine learning models and applications that is developed by the community members and users can then test and interact with these applications directly in their web browser. Now, spaces cover a wide range of AI capabilities, models, and use cases from text generation to image processing, audio processing, video generation, all of it. And one should keep an eye on Hugging Face Spaces because you want to stay updated with the AI trends and the capabilities that are now possible with the incoming new and you know better than ever models. So let's look at my favorite 10 Hugging Face Spaces that are worth exploring to build startups, projects, or at least you know adding a feature into your existing products. The first one is Quen2 Math Demo. Now, this is based on a specialized large language model designed to solve complex mathematical problems with advanced logical reasoning. So it supports multi-step problem solving method and is benchmarked to outperform other models that uh, solve similar math related problems. So uh, I can upload either an image of the mathematical problem or an equation that I want to solve, or I can sketch it uh, over here. I can select the size of my brush and I can write down the equation. So here I'm using just my mouse to write down the equation. I can input the question, whatever question that I have, let's say I want to solve this equation. Okay, and I'll click on submit. Now this model should be able to read this equation and solve it and uh, do it in a manner that provides the reasoning for it. So you can see to solve the quadratic equation, first of all, it has read the equation correctly. X squared plus two X plus one is equal to zero. We can follow these steps. Then it has broken down all the steps to solve this equation. And further at the end, this is X plus one whole square is equal to zero. So that means X is equal to minus one. So it has solved the equation as well for me. You can try it out for other equations. But the kind of applications or startups that you can build with it, for example, math tutoring applications, uh, advanced data analysis, scientific research, financial modeling applications that you can build with it, where you are required to just uh, upload the image or you know draw the equations out there, and it should be able to give you complete reasoning for why a particular equation should be used or a particular model should be used that uh, leverages uh, you know advanced mathematical equations i can directly see you can use uh, this sort of tool for educational content creation so the tutoring applications and content generation also becomes very very easy with a prototype like this by the way if you're looking for resources to learn skills that can help you start building with ai you should check out data camp who are also sponsoring this video now i know you must be thinking that oh great another learning platform but hear me out it has helped me in the past as well data camp's got these career tracks imagine you have a roadmap that takes you from what's coding to i can build a machine learning model step by step pretty cool right for people who already know their stuff and want to start building with ai they also have a dedicated associate ai engineer tracks both for developers as well as data scientists that will teach you how to work with llms prompt engineering llm ops understanding vector databases to build rag based applications i've got to tell you this hands-on approach it's a game changer you're not just watching someone code you are doing it yourself and trust me that's the best way to learn the second space, which I found very useful was Colors Virtual Try-On in the wild. Now, this is pretty simple. You have to upload the person's image. You have to upload the garment that you want to try out. And it'll generate the image of that person wearing that garment. And, you know, it'll give you an idea how that garment is going to look on you. A very, uh, you know, 
common use case everybody wants to uh, try this thing out whenever they are on a fashion website whenever they are on an e-commerce website so i personally can see a b2b company where you can sell this sort of capability to all the you know uh, giants the e-commerce hubs platforms and in fact to new brands that are opening up their stores online let's try this out i can upload any person's image i'll use uh, these sample images over here upload a person's image then i want to try out let's say this green shirt and click on run and you can see the results are actually pretty amazing uh, i would say that this is exactly the same shirt that i have input uh, and uh, the person also has the same profile and the visual appeal of uh, the image that is generated is also really good so all in all, I would say that this has done an amazing job and is something that you can, uh, you know, start building on. The third hugging face space is pretty simple. It's also a feature that many uh, applications already have. It's background removal. But still, if you want to try this out and add it to your application, uh, I would uh, suggest that you can use this hugging face space as inspiration. I'll upload an image. Uh, let me pick, for example, this is an image that I have uploaded. I want to remove its background. I will click on submit and it should generate an image that will allow me to remove the background. So let's see how this works. There you go. I can remove the background pretty easily. So this is again, a really good utility feature that I can add to my product. The fourth hugging face space that I found very interesting was this AI comic factory. Now this allows you to generate comic strips automatically using AI. And uh, you simply have to input the prompt or the storyline along with the style and it'll create the visuals and dialogue based on the input. So here I have selected this style, American 1950 with the style of the grid. Okay, captions are off. If you want to put it on, you can do that. Bubbles, these are my bubbles. Here I have selected detective dog and this is the style that uh, you can input. You can do rain or shiba and you can provide your storyline over here. So my storyline is detective dog and this is what uh, it generated. For me so as a detective dog i've seen it all but when a case involves toys and trees it's a whole different ball game so a very interesting use case i i see that you can generate a lot of uh, you know social media content marketing campaigns uh, in many cases some sort of educational content as well uh, personalized comics personalized gifts uh, that is something uh, that you can actually utilize this sort of capability for and uh, i'm sure you all would have more interesting ideas uh, to build with this sort of uh, a hugging face space. So all of you have already seen that uh, Suno, the platform has already raised so much and it is doing really, really well. Uh, this space is actually for generating music. So music gen uh, by Facebook. This is the demo uh, for a simple controllable model for music generation. All you need to do is describe the kind of music that you want to generate. So let's say 90s rock song with electric guitar, etc. So I want a file. You can also upload the audio here and accordingly it'll learn from it and generate similar music for you. And let's see for the prompt that we have added, what sort of music it generates for us. So this is done. Music is generated. Let's here. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Okay, so it sounds like a 90s rock song. So I think this space does its job fairly well. You must try this out and you can incorporate this as a feature or maybe generate uh, a full fledged product. Uh, but you'll have to include multiple other things to make it something uh, that people would pay for. So an interesting use case to build on. All of you have seen text to image generation models, right? You've seen use cases for it. You want to generate an image. You can use mid journey. You can use DALI, all of these models. Let's say you have an image, but you want to figure out the prompt for it. 
So this next space, which is called clip interrogator, it creates or basically writes the prompt for you to generate an image like an existing one. So you have to upload the image and it will give you the prompt that will generate a similar image for you. So here I uploaded a thumbnail of one of my YouTube videos and look at the output. So here, this is the prompt that this model is giving us by analyzing this image. A man is thinking about the future of coding. Great. YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so it was able to figure this out all by itself, inspired by Kailash Chandra Meher. Okay, I didn't get this part. Infography, Colossus, fantastically, pastel colors, lab coats, comic shading, so on and so forth. So I can see that if I want to identify, let's say, an art style, or if you want to moderate content, if you want to do SEO on visual content, or write some creative writing prompts by having some sort of inspiration from other images, this model is very, very effective. It'll actually become as a step in a bigger pipeline where you first have some inspirational images, you know, that you want to mimic. And uh, first the prompt would be created, which will be passed to a good, you know, visual model, text to image model. And further, you'll have more images, just like the source images that you have input into the system is probably more of a feature rather than a product. But again, very, very useful. Now, Whisper Jacks is another hugging face space that I found very useful. Now, this is simply an optimized implementation of the Whisper model by OpenAI. And uh, it leverages Jax, which is a high performing machine learning library to provide faster and more efficient transcription from audio into text. You can either record yourself and it'll give you the transcription of whatever you have said. Uh, you can input an audio file or you can simply input uh, uh, a YouTube video link. So here I'll input a YouTube video link, transcribe, and I also want to return timestamps. Submit this. And let's see how quickly it returns the transcription. Transcription happened really, really quickly. And since this is my video only, I can see that it is done correctly as well. So the timestamp information is very valuable. You can do a bunch of things on top of it. Uh, you know, transcribing long podcasts, getting some really uh, cool and uh, more SEO friendly, insightful snippets from those uh, long conversations. And then further, you know, uh, if you want to provide entire YouTube as a knowledge base on a platform, you can do this using models and implementations like this one. So again, a very useful transcription technology using the JAX framework. And you should definitely uh, try to think more on how you can leverage this into your product. The eighth space is live portrait. So if you have an image and you want that image to speak, this is the space for it. Live portrait, add mimics, lip sync to your static portrait driven by a video. So I can upload an image. Let's say I pick this image. This is static and you can pick uh, any video. So let's say I pick this video. Let me play it for you. Okay, so you look at the expressions uh, of this lady over here. And now I will click on animate. And this should animate this image following the expressions of this girl over here. Okay, so we have the video here. Let's look at this. So it has followed all of the expressions pretty closely and uh, the eyes, uh, the flickering of the eyes, uh, the movement of the lips, everything was spot on. And with the, you know, capabilities like these, you can now think about, you know, marketing campaigns that are being run in this way with just an image of the speaker and uh, the expressions, uh, the lip syncing. Uh, you can think about personalized video greetings, uh, digital art creation, uh, historical educational tools. If you want, you know, uh, historical images to historical pictures to come to life, 
you can think about all of those use cases with such capabilities. The ninth hugging face space that I want to talk about is instant ID, zero shot identity preserving generation. So this is a cutting edge solution in personalized image synthesis. This leverages a diffusion model based approach to generate customized images from uh, a single reference ID image uh, and a pose or a different styles that you want to mimic. Here I have uploaded a photo of my face here. This is the reference image and I can select whatever style. So here I've selected spring festival. So I can change this to no style, watercolor, so on and so forth. And further, the generated images are going to look just like this. So it has, it has picked up the style from the reference image and uh, the expressions that you can see from my source photo. And finally, the image is generated for me. So you can use this sort of capability to, you know, uh, generate uh, marketing uh, campaigns, uh, images, styles, content for social media. The last but not least, this is again, not a perfect use case, but uh, this is going to grow really well. So in painting is the use case and flux one is the model that I'm using here. All you need to do is segment different parts of your image and you can define what you want to add in that particular segmented area. So here you can see I've uploaded an image. I, you know, painted this particular region and I wanted uh, a dog in my hand. Now I added this prompt, add a dog in my hand. And this is the result that I got. Now, instead of this entire segmented region, it added a dog in just one single hand over here. I wanted a dog, uh, a bigger dog, uh, you know, right across my face, uh, but this is what I got. But I can see the, you know, the value that it can uh, generate for you. For example, if I have a real estate listing where I have an empty uh, room, or if I have an interior design application uh, where I want to draw something and add different elements like bed, a wardrobe, uh, you know, curtains on the window, so on and so forth. So those types of use cases uh, are uh, something that I can definitely build with this sort of capability. That's a wrap. I am sure that, you know, you have a lot of ideas and uh, while thinking about the actual idea to build on, you'll have to find out multiple other pieces and that's how a complete full-fledged product would come out. You'll have to think about the complete picture why these are only prototypes uh, uh, hosted on Hugging Face? Why are these not uh, actual products out there? So you'll have to uh, fill that gap in order to uh, build a complete product. And yes, uh, let me know which uh, one of these use cases was your favorite and what would you like to build in the comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, keep learning and keep building with AI.